saying welcome to today's protest against spying on you, on me, on all of us, the NSA. Uh, I see familiar faces, so many of you have been here before. Talk in the mic. What? Talk into the mic. If you haven't been, welcome, everybody. Uh, the purpose of today's rally is to expose the dirty tricks of the NSA, the National Surveillance Agency, and to discover some ways of not being caught in their sights. Similar protests are being held today in Washington, Chicago, and Los Angeles. Now, uh, to get started, I want to introduce Denny Sprunger, who's going to have a couple songs for us, and then I will continue with the program. Make sure I got this thing set up right. The NSA taking away all of our privacy, I guess, remind, reminded me of this old Woody Guthrie song. Well, I was walking a river highway. I saw before me that wonder skyway. microphone because it's sliding down. Hang on. I can't sing with my, my mouth and my chin. My chin and my chest, I guess. Only the 
shadows of their eyes Gone where the sun keeps shining through the pouring rain Going where the weather suits my clothes Banging off of a northeast wind, sailing on a summer breeze Skipping over the ocean like a stone It's cold and my fingers don't seem to want to move. Let's go to step two of this program. <laughs> right. Denny Springer, thank you, Denny. All right, uh, we should be done in about an hour and uh, more than that. Uh, we fear the FBI might show up or Homeland Security, so uh, we will try to keep it to an hour. The National Guard, the NSA, the country, the county police, or the infantry. That about covers it, doesn't it? Uh, it would be exciting, you know. I didn't want that mic to almost move that sponge in your face. Okay, got it. Uh, Anyway, it'd be kind of exciting if an NSA guy showed up. The first 30 of you to show up, and that would be everybody here, were promised a Halloween grab bag. Did you get it? Well, it should be coming, and you can pick those up now. Uh, so I don't know, well, they'll be here sooner or later. Uh, I don't see them. And we have copies of War Crimes, that's a newspaper, it has lots of information about the NSA. And uh, you'll find, when you do get this bag, you'll find all kinds of goodies. Please use them. You'll also find a resolution to preserve the Fourth Amendment. And we plan to have it introduced, defeated, and passed by, debated, excuse me, and passed by City Council. If a couple of you who live within the city and you know your councilman, please contact Dave Lambert, the organizer of today's program, to move this forward. Uh, Dave says he's no longer allowed to live in the city, but uh, he thinks he might be allowed to visit. After the main program, we'll have an open mic, so every, anybody who wants to speak will have the opportunity. Uh, for those of you willing to share your thoughts or brave enough, and if you aren't on witness protection or on parole. We thought that local attorneys would jump at the chance to speak, since who should know the Fourth Amendment better than they? Boy, were we wrong. We contacted no less than a dozen, and they all had other plans where we're going out of town. Don't even get me started on lawyers in Allen County. I just got a divorce. Uh, they are not my favorite people. Uh, I'm sure there's exceptions. We also invited Attorney General Eric Holder, NSA Director James Clapper, and Indiana Attorney General Greg Zeller. Any of you guys here? Raise your hand. Uh, couldn't make it, I guess. Uh, well, anyway, uh, they're with the lawyers wherever they are. Uh, so, uh, Holder may be busy dodging a lawsuit filed by the ACLU over Verizon sharing of metadata with the NSA. They added another lawsuit by the ACLU over the administration's use of predators and drones. I understand Attorney General Zeller has, has his hands full with Glenda Ritz. We have no idea about Clapper. That has to be the best name for uh, an official I ever heard of, the Clapper. Although he's probably rewriting his responses to a Senate committee in which he admitted the NSA is collecting data on Americans unwittingly. So again, welcome. And if you have any questions, please feel free to, uh, uh, whoa, whoa, oh my God. What are you doing here? Oh my God. 
like that. What's going on? We have a right to free speech. No, you don't. No, you don't. We have every right. It's America. Listen, it's good to see you all here today. Uh, a nice, brisk Fort Wayne uh, day. Would you like to stick with the sun shining? I recognize a few people here. I see some people out on the street. Come on up, folks. Hey, come on up here. Join the crowd. Anyway, uh, I see some familiar faces here today. And after, uh, after I get done, you'll uh, be even more familiar to me. I have the pictures. The reason that I'm here is that uh, the agency asked me to come and say a few words. I know that uh, some of you have been a little perturbed about uh, the direction that the uh, National Surveillance Agency has taken. So uh, they sent me uh, this letter, and since I'm the agent here, uh, I'll read it to you. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get your name later. All right, I trust I have your attention now. Uh, this is a letter from uh, James Clapper. Uh, you all know James. Uh, he's my boss. Here, here's what he says. Dear U.S. citizen, please accept our most egregiously sincere apologies for the difficulties and inconveniences, the secret monitoring of your phone records and email and GPS units and foreign travel and bank accounts, and yes, even your snail mail has evidently caused. We here at the NSA strive for the perfection of our services, which depend on the chronic obliviousness of you, our valued customers. Keep it up. Unfortunately, Due to one disgruntled deadbeat who escaped to China to avoid government persecution, which is like joining the army because you're tired of people telling you what to do, you now know of our continuing efforts to keep you safe. That was never our intention. When you are even tangentially aware of the absurd lengths the National Security Agency will go to keep you and your loved ones out of harm's way, our mission has failed. If you knew half the crap we have to slog through here, your hair would curl, but that's another story altogether. Yes, we're pretty much keeping tabs on everything everyone says and does all the time, which we understand upsets a few of you. Folks, don't worry. Nobody's actually listening to any of this stuff. We're just used to collecting it. it may, if it makes you feel any better, Think of this whole enterprise as an exceedingly long government subsidized episode of the television show Hoarders. You can trust us. And seriously, anybody who didn't suspect this kind of snooping was going on as not to be trusted with knives in the kitchen with a fencing mask. Privacy is so 20th century. You share the regularity of your bowel movements on Facebook, but we check around to find out who's making phone calls to Al Qaeda, and suddenly everybody's nose is out of joint. You kidding me? Unfortunately, one of our representatives testified in front of Congress. Uh, he said, no, we're not collecting data on Americans. What he meant to say was, 
Yes, we are collecting data on Americans. James Clapper simply gave the least untruthful as possible. Then again, Congress knows that getting a straight answer from us is harder than bending a wire coat hanger into a number representing pi to the sixth digit with your teeth. All for your protection. It's all about you folks. See, the problem is nobody knows who the enemy is anymore. Narrowing suspicion is much too time consuming. A lot easier to wiretap the entire nation than try to pick out the one or two most devious of you. And you look a little devious to me. I am. <laughs> Very devious. Besides, what could be more democratic than spying on everybody? We call the process data mining. And you, the soft quarry, are producing up to a billion records a day, which is real similar to pulverizing Mount Everest, then sifting through the rubble for a blue pebble. Hey, it ain't easy, people. A lot of haystacks, not so many needles. To ensure this glitch never occurs again, we are rectifying the glitcher in order to return our service to the high level quality that you, the citizens of America, have come to expect. And for the inconvenience that we've caused, you'll each get three free months of HBO. Yes. If you have any questions or comments regarding this matter, please contact your congressperson. I'm sure he or she is waiting to hear from you. Thanks for your understanding, and please don't bother looking for us. You can be sure we'll be looking after you. Sincerely, James Clapper and your vigilant friends at the NSA. You may now applaud me and the agency. Boo! Nice job.